do I cut the fringe or grow it out? I want to grow it out, but I cannot deal with this. It's painful. Just fuck off. Fuck off. Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're well. Uh, another ASOS on the on the on the channel. It was only like a a few videos ago that I did like an ASOS haul with my friend. Well, it was her. It was her buying clothes. I. I was helping her style her up, getting her to try some new things, and filling her full of confidence, etc. Debunking some style rules that she had been, she'd sort of taught herself or been taught over the years. Um, and then it was my turn to have a meltdown. I was in a, a hormonal period depression, and late at night I took to ASOS and ordered a bunch of clothes because I was hating life and myself. And um, here we are. I was feeling like, Oh my god, I'm not cool anymore. I don't have any cool clothes. I've got loads of things coming up. I've got some events. I've got some photo shoots, video shoots coming up. I've got nothing to wear. I don't like the way things fit my body at the minute. I just need, I don't know what's going on. Kind of forgotten what I've ordered because it was so late and I was in such, I was having such a spiral that I don't really remember what I got. We're gonna unbox this together and try them on and uh, see how we go. See how we go. First of all, I have got this. I remember this. This is a ooh, new look off shoulder body. Okay, I actually really like this. Bit of a off shoulder jobby, quite fancy. Oh, uh, yeah. This is cute. This is very cute. Bit different to what I would normally go for. But I, quite, I like this a lot and it's very comfortable. Love this um, detail in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, cool. Now I think I bought this with photo shoot in mind for the band. 70s crochet looking top like that. Obviously these stringy bits tie up. I'm gonna have to put something, a bra on though, just because my nips will shine through. So let's try this on. Okay, where's the, f where's the front? Does it matter? I don't think it matters where the front's at. Oh, that's, the f that's labels there. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, it's very nice. And you know what? Even though it's got long sleeves, this would be great summer dress, festival dress, because Made of holes! Oh my god, I really like this. Oh, I love this. Isn't this lovely? Now, now I must admit, I did try these on when they came through the door because uh, if you're a chunky calf lady like myself, chunky legs, um, knee high or calf high boots are the bane of your life because you just, they just don't want to zip up or go on. And I always give these boots a go, always end up sending them back. Fell in love with these ones and I really, really wanted them to fit. I, I read some reviews and said that they fit nicely even though they had chunky calves, so I thought I'm gonna fucking go for it. I'm gonna go and give it a go. So as soon as the as soon as the ASOS delivery arrived, I was like, where are the boots? I need to try them. And hallelujah, they fucking fit, don't they? Don't they? <gasps> this is a vibe. This is a vibe. What, what else have we got? I'm never taking these boots off, by the way. Ooh, okay. I did buy some socks. They're nice. Snake skin, snake skin socks. Fab. Bought some jeans. Ooh, Urban Revivo XXL flared jeans. Not feeling hopeful. Not feeling hopeful. <laughs> wow. XXL, hey? XXL? In what world? Polly Pocket? Fucking hell! Oh my god! What a load of bollocks that is! Well, they're gonna have to go in the pile of no thank yous. Well, I got these. Oh my god! Look how nice these are! The girl at the hairdressers was wearing them, and I told her that her trousers were amazing, which they are. Oh my God. I'm a big fan of wearing shirts, but I didn't, I wanted a shirt without sleeves and I found one. Oh my God, this would have been perfect for school. 
because I used to like be such a bit of a rebel at school and wouldn't wear proper, I'd wear uniform. That was, like I was a little shit, like I would wear like skinny jean, tr skinny trousers instead of like boring school trousers. And I'd be like, well, it says black trousers and this is, they're black trousers. We would wear like Doc Martens to school and they'd be like, what? And they'd be like, they're black shoes. Oh, okay. I'm not sure about this because I was trying to go for that like, hey, I'm cool, I'm wearing a shirt. I'm so laid back and cool. I don't know actually, but I don't know if I just, it looks a bit, actually, I do like this. No, I do like this. If I wear it unbuttoned, maybe, with something under, like a vest underneath it, maybe. Even like that with some chains on show. Some chains on show. I can always tuck it in. Tuck it in something, you think? Yeah, actually, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Feel cool in this, yeah. Maybe I will keep it. Ooh! A bodysuit from I Saw It First in a brown. This is gonna be a basic for me. Oh, it's a bit tight. Let's get over the tears. Yeah, I like it as a vibe, I'm gonna keep it. Oh God, it's a little bit tight though. Oh, sunglasses! Yes. Yeah, they're good. They're good for photo shoots and stuff as well. Gotta bear it in mind. I've got a lot of things going on in my life at the moment, guys, and you always need accessories or bits and bobs and extras for all sorts, photo shoots, video shoots, props, you name it. You got. You just gotta be prepared. What else? Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. She likes wearing tassels and flowers in her hair. She's got herself some new cowboy boots. I like making up songs where I see fit Cause it brings me joy Do I need to say anything else about this other than isn't it fucking perfect? Pink suede tassel jacket This is uh, me now forever, I'm done, this is me, I'm I don't need anything else now What now? Oh a little t-shirt! Oh god yeah, I wanted one of these to wear underneath my dungarees. Black t-shirt with some frilly sleeves. Oh yeah, that's good, isn't it? Perfect, ribbed, <laughs> little sleeves and uh, neckline. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Keeping that, that's gonna go in the basic straw. A waist belt, yes. Remember when these used to be really fashionable back in the day? I think I know why, yeah, I know why. Right, moving on, moving on. Oh yeah, oh my God. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. I've got so, I've got a really exciting photo shoot coming up. Probably won't wear it with a bra underneath, but this is like, this is so cool. So imagine it about the bra, my little tees. Got nice collar here. Probably wear it with the sleeves up. Or maybe not. <laughs> wear them down. Nice cropped. Yeah, this is cool. Very retro. I like it a lot. Sorry that I keep looking in the viewfinder. I'm using it as a mirror because I don't know. I am surrounded by mirrors though, but yeah, this is nice. Okay, I'm gonna take these trousers off and uh, try something else on my bottom half. Okay, I'm gonna try this one on first. That looks fucking tiny. What size is that? A 16. I have realized that, I mean, not realized, I knew this all along, but um, just buy clothes that feel comfortable. So I, I range from a 12 to a 16, and I would always buy my bottoms in a 14, because they fit. But a 16 is way more comfier. Is it? I mean, that go up, but that's not really. Little mini skirt. Not too, actually it's not too bad, but am I gonna be just pulling it down the whole time? Anyway, as I was saying, I think some things just fe feel better if you size up. Some things feel better if you size down it. And I was having this conversation, I had this conversation a few times recently. If you go up a clove size, it's not the end of the world. Doesn't matter, who fucking cares? Because at the end of the day, clothes should fit you. You shouldn't fit into the clothes. And it doesn't matter what number it is on there. We just obsess over the idea of our clove size should just be smaller. You know, there has been so much shame around the idea of you being over a certain size or being a certain size. And um, my weight fluctuates all the fucking time. I can feel more comfortable in a size 16 bottom. So what? If it, if it, I'd rather wear something that fits and feels comfortable than in something that is too small, is a bit tight, that digs in and is 
basically just looks just looks a bit like you're a pork chop wrapped up in string. Be honest and take accountability and just fucking wear what fits us and not be ashamed of it because it don't matter, you've not let yourself down. You're just finding some, and also let's just remember that clothes sizes are so different everywhere you shopped. That was an XXL pair of jeans. I couldn't even get them past my bum. I'd like these to be a bit bigger. This is going to be a bit bigger so it's a bit more comfortable because this ain't, this ain't doing it for me. This is a long one. This is an hourglass, hourglass um, skirt, but it's very long. <laughs> I feel like a mermaid. Hello, I'm a mermaid. I might cut the bottom off. Oh, that's way too long. Oh, and it is a bit, it is a bit big. If it wasn't so long, I probably would. Yeah, it is a bit long, isn't it? Well, I might come back to this. In here, we have got a dress that I really want to look great because I think it would be amazing for stage. Pray with me now. Well, first of all, good job I've got my bra on because this would be the itty bitty titty committee. They'd be flying out. Do I hate it? No, I don't. I definitely need the uh, strap shortening though. Ah, danger, danger. Fuck, why does that always happen? Get one, one thing and then Everything else comes off with it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. I love it! Oh, hang on, let's try it with this belt. Let's see if what this belt is saying. Oh, I fucked it. I fucked it. I fucked the belt idea. The belt idea is not an idea. I don't know. Maybe not. I think that the tassel situation will just bug me so much with them going in and out of place. Yeehaw! This is a denim dress. Probably gonna hate it. Oh, it's quite soft. Oh, it's a nice. It's not like a heavy denim actually. It's a, it's a thin denim, which is quite nice. It's a very much camouflage into my black door. Oh, I quite like this. Cool. Where, where's my belt? I think I bought the belt because I bought this. Yeah, it's quite cute actually. Is it? Is it cute? Is it cute? Yeah, I quite like this look. I feel, I feel quite nice. Yeah, I like this. I like this. I like this. Yeah! I don't just love it when things work out. Okay, it's a bit creased. Do we like this? I wanted the cream version, but it was sold out. So I didn't get it, because I could not. Yeah, it works with the belt as well. This belt's pretty nifty. Quite a cool belt, isn't it? Yeah, I like this dress. Again, a nice summer dress. It's not gonna get too hot because of all, all the holes in it. Um, I like the details. Yeah. Oh my God, what even is this? Oh my God. Is that a top? Okay, this bra is not a good choice because it's slightly gray from when it's been fucked in the wash. So let's pretend that it's more of a cream color. Oh, I really like this top though. <laughs> yeah, I think you would probably have to wear this. A, with a nice bra like bralette and B maybe not show the back so I'm going to put this my last items on and see if they look nice with it so I bought a little suit because I wanted a toothpiece oh I like these oh I like it a lot oh I like it a lot okay see the top's all right when you've got something on top you just have to make sure that you absolutely do not take it off what is this? What is this good? Oh, it's fun. Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, I like this a lot. Let's sit here then. Hey, I work here. I'm the boss. Hey, can I speak to the manager? You're looking at her. Did we get that? You like own your house, yeah? Or you, are you, or the rent on? Okay, can I speak to the homeowner, please? And you're like, yeah, you're looking at her. Like, A, do I look too fucking young to own a house? And B, are you expecting a man to answer the door? Thank you for coming along with me on this chaotic journey. Um, please don't forget to uh, like, comment, and if you're not already subscribed, subscribe, all right? Okay, I feel like I'm being told to say this, but um, it's true. By you engaging in my video helps me out a lot. Helps, helps more people see it. If you haven't seen my videos in a while, it's because more people need to engage in them.
You need to engage in them. You need to, if you need to like and comment and sub, all that shit to see them on your sub, subscription feed. That is me done. I'm going to tidy up. Thanks for watching, everyone. Farewell. Bye-bye.